Hey guys, it's Ricardo with Watch With Us channel, and I'm here this week with another review. Into the channel, we have this watch by Laurier called the Falcon Series 2. Now, Laurier is a micro brand, and the Falcon is a family of watches that they introduced back in 2018. The first Falcon was sized at 39 millimeters. It had a 48 millimeter lug to lug, 200 meters of water resistance, and inside was taking an NH35A Seiko movement. Now that watch introduced in late 2018 was priced at $449. This year, what Laurier decided to do was to add another member to the family. And that's what we have here, the Falcon Series 2. On this version, there are some immediate differences from the first version. The case is now sized at 36 millimeters versus the 39 millimeters of the previous version. Water resistance has come down to 100 meters instead of 200 meters. Our lug to lug here is 44 millimeters. And inside we actually have taking a Myota 90 S5 movement. That movement is a time only movement benefit of that is when you pull out the crown, you'll notice that there are no ghost positions. Pull out the crown all the way and bang, you're already setting the time. Now, we've had this watch for about, I'd say, two weeks, and I have to say this has been a great experience. Um, right off the bat, Laurier, everyone knows Laurier for their amazing bracelets. Um, the bracelet on this is just it's, it's perfect. The facets are great. The way they catch the light, um, that brushing, it's, it's, it's a great bracelet. Um, you have your screw down links. Give you a little side view of the signed crown. Here's the case back, which they left empty intentionally. Um, for anyone who wanted to get it engraved. Here's the clasp on the bracelet. Simple, um, just the symbol of the brand. And now if we go back to the front of the watch, you have this beautiful textured dial that Laurier has put on this watch. This version is their white dial version. So you see these beautifully elevated loom pips and you see that textured white dial. Everything is bordered by the light application of black. So you, on the indices, you have that light black bordering. It matches with the black Laurier written on the dial. The hands, which are a cool feature, um, not so much a feature, but just a cool thing on this watch. Um, I'd say 80% of your day wearing this watch, the hands almost seem black. But when the light hits them just right, they give you this nice silver color. And everything just looks great. Another cool thing about this watch is definitely the domed plexiglass. The way it plays with the light. The way when viewing it from the sides, you have that nice distortion to the dial. I know some people wish that this was actually Sapphire, but at the price point, I definitely understand. Not only at the price point, but it adds a, a nice little flair to the watch. Um, it's definitely something that Laurier does intentionally. I think if they wanted to put Sapphire on their watches, they would put Sapphire, but the plexiglass and that distortion is just a cool feature on this watch. Now let me toss this on the wrist so you guys can see how it looks on my seven and a half inch wrist. Some may say that the watch is a little undersized, but I think it looks perfect. Even on my seven and a half inch wrist, the 36 millimeters just looks great. That bracelet just looks amazing on this watch. Now, as I said, I've had the watch for about two weeks and there are definitely some pluses and some minuses there, but 
you know what, let me go over them. In terms of positives, I have to say one is the no date on this watch. I think it adds a nice, nice amount of symmetry to the dial. You have that Laurier, you have that Falcon, and that's it. It's, it's perfectly symmetrical. Next, of course, is that texture on the dial. It looks amazing. It's a feature that even from a few, I'd say almost two feet away, you could see that texture and it looks great. Loom on this is nice and strong, as you can see. One thing I have to say though, is I had asked Laurier to send me in the white version. Um, I thought that would be the version that I would actually really love. But after examining some of the other versions that this watch comes in, I have to say the blue might be the watch for me. Um, the, what I've noticed with the white version is I'm not a big fan of the black outline. I, I feel like it, it, not so much it clutters the dial. I feel like it just doesn't, it doesn't work for me. Um, that's just a personal opinion. It could work for others. But I, I went back to Laurier's website and I have to say that blue dial with the silver outline and, and, and just the use of silver, I think that's, that's kind of, if I'm going to get this watch, that's the watch I'm going to get. Now, in terms of negatives, there aren't that many. Um, really, for this watch, I have to say there's only one negative that I could think of. And that has to be the decision Laurier made to keep the lugs at 20 millimeters on this smaller version of the watch. I think had they gone and decided to make these 18 millimeters, it would have helped with just the overall sizing of the watch and how it looks. Um, I mean, on the bracelet, it looks amazing. But once you take the bracelet off, which has a nice taper from 20 to 16 millimeters, and you stick any type of 20 millimeter leather on this, it just, the, the watch seems so so small compared to the strap. Uh, I, the only solution I could think of is if you're gonna put this on a strap, definitely put it on, I'd say a, 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 a strap that tapers to at least 18 millimeters. So going down from 20 to 18. Preferably if you could find a strap that tapers from 20 to 16 millimeters, I think it'll just look better on this watch. Um, this watch at this size with the 20 millimeter lugs, it, it screams for tapering. Because if you do anything with a straight 20, mil 20 millimeter on this watch, the, the watch seems so small. But other than that, I have to say this is a great update to the Falcon family. I mean, look at the polished edges on the case. You have your brushed. I mean, this isn't, this isn't, def, they definitely didn't slouch on this. This is drilled lug holes. I mean, this is a great update. This is a great second generation to that family of watches. And I mean, if this is what the second generation holds, I'd love to see what, what their plans are for this, this family of watches later on. I imagine what the third generation for this will be. But once again, overall, I think the watch is a really good watch. I think as an everyday time only watch, it's perfect that 100 millimeter, <laughs> millimeters, that 100 meters of water resistance is a nice feature to have on this. Of course, you get that screwed down crown. And I just think like this watch is a great everyday watch. You won't be disappointed with this watch. Now that's it for my review. Guys, if you have any questions or if there's anything I didn't cover in this review, definitely drop them in the comment section. I should have the watch for about another day or two after this, this video gets released. But just one more review of this beautiful watch. Thank you guys for watching. And that is a review of the Laurier Falcon Series 2.